watch what you're taking. You know you do drugs. Grab you a tester. Walk around with it. If you snort powder, if you snort anything, <clears throat> make sure you understand that they can mix it with Fetty Wap. Fetty Wap can be put in just about anything, man. Anything. It could be put on marijuana. It could be put in mushrooms. It could be sprinkled on everything, man. But it, especially with things that are powdery substance, it's, it's, if, it, if it's in America and it's 2021, nine times out of ten, the Fetty Wap is in it. Come on, man. Successful individuals <clears throat> snorting their brains out, having fun. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I gotta get some goddamn gold in my body, huh? But, um, you know, we should understand and get some, some knowledge that these type of things is putting a lot of our people in bad positions, man. And it's putting us in bad positions. Why? It don't matter the money you have. It don't matter the success you have. That drug is going to make you go overboard. You're going to chase it down. You're going to run it down. But more than anything, you're going to excuse the fact that you know that you probably can die. And this is what America need to understand. And outside of America or wherever, if it come down to drugs, you're probably going to die anyway. It's going through your system. It's going through your colon. It's going to your brain. Eventually, if you get too high off the drug or you take too much, you're going to die. But a lot of people that do drugs don't want to hear that. A lot of people that do drugs, they don't want to hear that. You know what they want to hear? They want to hear that so-and-so has the best. This person has the best. And what ends up happening is they go test it out and they don't make it. Now, I've seen a lot of people been dying off of the Fetty Wap in New York. So I guess somebody said blow got to move a lot faster than this got to get this out of here and we don't have a lot of it so we're going to stretch armstrong with the fetty wop <clears throat> that's heavy man that's heavy because you pond on things man you know i liked his, his his acting position i didn't like the gay position that he played because it was just like you know what the message is why would you want to play that position but that's neither here nor there right at this second but he played a lot of movies like that. You know, I don't know why he played the movies like that. It's like I don't know how and why he would snort Fetty Wap. A lot of people dying from that, man. And y'all got to remember that. Y'all got to take care of yourselves. Y'all got to watch out. Y'all got to make sure that y'all do the right thing. Because if y'all don't do the right thing, you're going to end up dying from it. And, you know, like... Everybody's family is on drugs somehow, some way, you know? Everybody, man. Somebody in your family is on drugs. I don't care who you are. If that's the case, help them people. Go ask them what they're using. And you may have to know. You may have to find out who they're grabbing from. Speak with them. Hey, listen, it's my folks. They grabbing this, that, and the third. Um, what do you put in it? What do you cut with? Because maybe they'll stop doing it. Maybe they'll stop putting the Fetty Wap in it if people, family start speaking up in a manner where it's not, have nothing to do with the police because all the police are going to do is, you know, just lock people up. They're not any concerned of getting to the bottom and having to stop. Individual on the streets, in the community, you know, your folks snort coke or 
taking pills, or doing heroin, whatever the case may be, and you know about it, you should be able to slide up on an individual or two and ask them, yo, what is my folks buying off you in? Whatever that is, make sure you don't put no fentanyl in it. Maybe people will stop putting it in there. You know, <clears throat> a lot of them aren't chemists. A lot of them don't know what the hell they're doing. So one may put a little bit more on than the other. And guess what? We got a situation. You hear me? We can't have a situation because that means your family is dead in the ground all because of a high. And we know everybody gets high. There's not an individual in this world that doesn't get high for something. He need that type of your fury from something. It doesn't matter what it is. It could be eating a tree, eating a piece of a tree and having a habit of going back there and eating off that tree a day. At the end of the day, <laughs> it becomes some type of addiction. And that's what it's all surrounded by, addiction. They put drugs in these medications to grab your mind more than anything. A lot of us should be happy to be still living. No, really. We should be happy to still be living because at the end of the day, if you keep it a thousand with yourself and others, you didn't got too high some time or another. You didn't been too high, man. Plenty of y'all. Myself also. I just ain't you know, going to the white drugs. That ain't my thing, man. Not to knock anybody else thing. I'm not going to the white drugs. You know, the, the nose or the, the veins. These type of things I'm scared to do. I don't want nothing going in my nose. I might suffocate and die. And I don't need anything going in these honorable veins of mine for honor, you know? No, let me let me say that to y'all again. I don't need anything going in my veins but honor. And I don't need nothing white going in my nose. It'll make me suffocate. Like I might pass out. And that's not to knock nobody else thing. You know what I mean? I used to love to drink syrup. And you know, people probably would say, no, I couldn't see myself drinking that. But at the end of the day, all I'm saying is I'm talking about my fears. And my fear is that I was in deer and I saw all the people who, that was on drugs, my mom was on drugs, everybody was on drugs. I don't think that would have been a real intelligent move to make to choose crack, you see what I'm saying? So I was choosing this, the stuff I seen people get money on, getting high, you know, I was following the wrong things. And the groove within itself, I don't want to be bushy eyed tail up all day. I ain't one of them guys, you know what I'm saying? Some individuals say, man, listen, I don't want to be grooved all day, but at the end of the day, I just don't want any of us to take any powder or substance because that's what they're easy in the pills too it's easy for them to put these things but the pills you can kind of tell if i'm not mistaken you know if they are wrong or not i think a lot of individuals are starting to love them pills too the fetty wap pills they got specific fetty wap pills you see where i'm coming from here so at the end of the day i just want to say my condolences is out to Mike Williams' family. Mike Williams' friends do not go to that same guy and grab. That he's been grabbing off of, don't go back to him. And somebody get word to him to tell him that they, you know, he putting too much on it or he might have came over just like that. God damn it. Imagine it coming over with the Fetty already on it. You make a mistake and you put some Fetty to it too. Oh my goodness. It's horrible. King on her life and direct.